Let's find out what's going on in the arts in the Brazos Valley. And Cherie's here this morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. And I have our Brian artist in residence, Kristen, with us today. Good. Good morning, Kristen. How are you today? Good. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about you. Where do you come from? I'm originally from Houston, um, so I haven't traveled all that far, but I've been around since then and everything, so it's good to be here. So now, how long are you going to be here in Bryan as an artist in residence? For about a year. I started in August, so I'll end next August. Okay. Tell us a little bit about the medium that you work in. I mostly do charcoal, uh, large scale mostly, uh, so big landscapes. <laughs> so large is finished product is what size? Uh, about eight feet long, um, sometimes six feet tall. Uh, usually there's more distance in one direction than the other. <laughs> Why did you choose charcoal? Charcoal just sort of works for me. It's um, it's a very messy medium that you can just kind of push around until you get it the way that you want. It's very forgiving, and I like that about it. It also gives a, a really broad range of, of uh, depth and color um, for being black and white. You can go really bright white and really dark black with it um, in a way that really captures um, some feelings and stuff for me. Now, my limited knowledge of charcoal, I can mm -hmm. actually kind of remember seeing uh, cartoon artists and early television use charcoal. Now, those were thick lines. Do you use mm -hmm. the thick lines of charcoal or use thin lines or do you use a combination of both? Um, yeah, I don't actually use a whole lot of line work with the charcoal. It's much more blending and shading for me, um, but I, I didn't actually know about the uh, charcoal and animation. No, it's really true. That's <laughs> actually an early television. That's what they do because they put up a big palette with a, with a white sheet on there and somebody would draw. Mm -hmm. And again, because it was just black and white television, color was not important. And so they did that. So that now brings the question there. This is basically two tones. Then this is a, 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 a monotone as opposed to using a lot of, of uh, color. Um, is that something that you think you'll do later in your art career or are you happy with kind of staying with charcoal as much as i love color um i've worked with it in the past and everything but for the the sort of emotions that i'm going for and stuff black and white seems to to really sort of hit home for people in a different way than color does and so eventually if i if i turn what i'm trying to do to in a slightly different direction then color might come back in but for now uh the black and white seems to just be working really well for me tell me about being an artist in resident and what that means for your progression mm -hmm. i actually just graduated um, in august and so this really gives me a year to establish a foundation for my my career as an artist it takes time to really uh build up uh, a reputation and a client base in order to really make it as an artist in the art world. And so this is really giving me a year to focus on that art and focus on um, building that uh, portfolio for me. Now, when we say landscape, do you have buildings included in that or is this just actually open land type things you'd like to draw? Usually I focus more on nature and I actually really like to focus on sky and weather. Um, I do a lot of clouds, um, storm scenes and such. Um, Nature is just such an uh, important thing to me, and I grew up camping and all that, and so that's really what, what I love. Honestly. So if people would like to see your work, how could they do that? Um, so I have a studio in downtown Bryan. Um, I also have um, a website online at chrislingkane.com. I'm going to um, let you go ahead and spell that. Mm -hmm. K-R-I-S-L-Y-N-K-O-E-H-N. Um, so that's just chrislinkane.com. And so you can see all of my work on there. But also uh, this first Friday in Bryan, um, we're doing an artist feature with uh, big wooden hearts painted by artists, all, all local artists there in downtown Bryan. Um, and so I'll have one of those out. Um, and I plan to be around and talk to people and hopefully show off some of my work there too. Outstanding. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you so much. You bet. What else you got today? Well, on Kristen, following up with what she does, we also do some live Facebooks where we talk to our artists and residents to show a little bit of their artwork, and they walk us through how they are doing what they're doing. So check that out on our website and on Facebook at acbv.org. And what's happening at the Arts Council is we have Danica showing in our gallery until November 14th. 
our masks from our mask contest go up this week. And our interns have done this amazing thing that they've decided that they want to create the picture perfect Christmas in Brazos Valley. So if your business is decorating for Christmas and you think that that would be a picture perfect, let us know. They're going to create a map so they can talk about where people can go to take picture perfect pictures. And all that is available at the website? You got it at acbv.org. All right. Thanks a bunch.